Hey guys, on one of my last videos, I talked about selecting the right caulk for your projects and how to go about doing that. But in this video, I want to show you how to actually get rid of the old bathroom caulk and how to reinstall fresh caulk. Now, keep in mind, you can never caulk over old caulk. It has mold, it has mildew growing on it. It just doesn't adhere well. So you're going to need a few simple tools. First being scraping tools. I like using a classic utility knife, box knife style cutter, and also a scraping razor because that allows you to get all of this old caulk out of the way very quickly and easily. There are some gadgets out there, I just never found any of them worked any better than this. The only caveat is you have to be careful that you don't scratch your tile or your porcelain tub. So you need to be careful and not go to gangbusters. You can try a plastic scraper, I just don't find that they work that well. But just don't scratch your surfaces up too much. So you're also gonna need to plug up the tub drain because you don't want any of the debris that you are scraping away to go in the drain and cause a drain clog. Have a wet paper towel around and then of course you're going to need your bathtub caulk. Again, make sure you are buying silicone based. Buy it in the color that matches your tile and buy one that says that is specifically for plumbing use, okay? Bathrooms, kitchens. And make sure you have a caulk gun and I have another video that shows you how to do that. So make sure you subscribe because there's a lot more videos on simple projects like this on the channel. But let's dive in to getting rid of some of this old caulk. Just very gently scrape at it until it starts to peel up. Many caulks will tell you that they have seven to 10 year life. I don't buy it. I think generally you're gonna get three to five years out of it before the mold and mildew builds up. So you can see, you get to a point that you can start to pull it out in big strips. So pull it out. Keep in mind, you have grout in the lines between the tiles. That is a cement-based product, the grout. It can be bleached. The caulk, being that it is stretchy and um, flexible is not very cleanable after time. So after you have scraped away almost all of the debris, you're gonna make sure that you have gotten your surface really clean. Get all of the little debris chunks away. Like I said, I just throw it right in the tub, but I make sure that my tub stopper is in place. It's easier to clean it all up after. And then I will go over my whole area again with my scraper to make sure I've gotten every little bit of loose caulk out of the way. And then before I apply new caulk, I grab some rubbing alcohol and I will clean the whole area with rubbing alcohol because it gets rid of any of the residue and the stickiness that could have been left behind so you get a better adhesion of your new caulk. Now, when I did my mother's makeover at my mom's house um, in the spring of last year, this was one of the first things I did to resell that house, was make sure that that bathroom tub looked good and fresh. Even though it was 50 year old tile, it looked beautiful and clean because a fresh coat of caulk makes all the difference. Now, we're gonna get our caulk gun and I've shown you before how you cut the caulk gun open. If you want a refresher, watch that video up in the corner. You're going to cut open your caulk tube, pierce and spike your tube at the nozzle, and then you're going to apply it in a thin bead. I like to pull the caulk away, so I will start in this corner and I will run a thin bead of caulk all along the edge. I like to start with a thin bead. You can always go back and add more. If you put on too much, it makes a big mess. Now I will take a paper towel that is damp and I just wrap it around my finger and I will wipe the caulk so that you spread it smoothly and neatly into the open crevice. Now you can come back with your caulk gun and add a little bit more if you've missed a few spots or you see it's a little thin and you come back and you work it over just very neatly. You can also use a bare finger if you feel like you have good control and you're comfortable doing that. You just wipe it off quickly because silicone is sticky. And then you come back and you wipe off the excess. You do not want your caulk going up the wall and out on the tub. You want it to be very neat 
and you want it to be thin and clean and effective. So while reclogging a bathtub will take a little bit of your time, it is not a difficult project. It is something that you can do with very basic DIY skills. Just be sure that you read the dry time and respect that because you don't want to caulk your tub and try to shower 15 minutes later. So follow the directions and give it the time it needs to fully dry before you shower or bathe. And again, when you remove that old caulk, you might feel some crumbling and some dust. That is typical. That means that there is grout behind the caulk and that's fine. Don't remove that old grout that is there. Just remove the rubbery, stretchy caulk and replace that. And now you have a beautiful, fresh, clean tub.